Hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Going to be taking a look at this passage. RDA, Matt, Suck My Mod, Hell Vape. They, they did an RDA. I feel like this RDA uh, might be a little bit out of Matt's wheelhouse. He's never really done like, like a cloud chasey type of RDA. And this isn't like a, a cloud chasey RDA in that it has like a ton of airflow because the airflow by default, even full open is, is a little bit restricted, but we're going to get to all of that a little bit later. I've been having a really good time with it. It has an antimicrobial drip tip. So if you've been worried about microbes, this one is antimicrobial. Uh, vaping pretty awesome right now. I have some M Turk alien coils in here right now And they've been working great, but they're only two and a half millimeter and this passage RDA It's got a little bit of space Inside this RDA and I feel like these little two and a half millimeter coils aren't really taking advantage of all of that space in there So what I want to do today is boosh. I have some coil turd coil sticks. These are Tri-core aliens, I believe. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap some bigger coils. I'm gonna try for some four millimeters. I'll probably end up doing like a three and a half millimeter, but what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna get this build out of here. We're gonna get to the desk. We're gonna throw some new build in here. Three and a half millimeter, let's go. All right, so I got my Passage RDA right here. I got all of the tools that I'm gonna need. I got some coil turd sticks, some Tricor Aliens that I'm excited to wrap and install in here. And then of course, we're gonna be using, uh, we're gonna be using the best cotton in the business, Cotton Bacon Prime. And I do feel like I have to say this every time, Cotton Bacon Prime is a sponsor of, of the podcast that I do. They pay me money to advertise on my podcast, but I, I do think that Cotton bacon is legitimately the best cotton I've used. So before we get to really tearing this thing down, I just wanted to show you, I really like the aesthetic of this RDA. I think I like how it goes from 24, kind of, it's almost like a bubble glass on an RDA, like it comes out a little bit, 24, maybe to 25 again, back down to 24, especially on this Arclis. It just, I like that it goes in and out and in and out. It gives it, I don't know, a little bit of character. It's not just a straight tube. It's like the opposite of like the Ocula or the Sonnet where those were kind of rounded in. This is kind of bulbousy out. I just like unique exteriors on RDAs. IMO, that's just as important as what's inside. This is the world famous antimicrobial hell vape drip tip. Don't worry about microbes. And Anymore. Don't even trip, dog. We got you. All of the fit and finish, all of the O-rings, really very nice. From the way that this drip tip fits in here to the way that this AFC spins and comes out. In fact, when you put this in here, you do get a little satisfying snap. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Love some snappy O-rings. But as you can see, when I pull this out of here, there's that honeycomb airflow that's going to be down there directly facing your coils. Now you're kind of getting an idea. You can see the airflow goes in, travels down these passages through the honeycomb right at your coils. The barrel of the RDA also fits on here really well. There are some interlocking tabs and notches as far as the deck and the barrel go, but the notches allow you to still adjust this side to side. So there's a hard stop here and there's a hard stop here, but you can move your airflow around. But why would you wanna do this? Well, it's beneficial when you're adjusting your airflow. So you can adjust your airflow and then you can actually adjust where your airflow is pointing. I always like to keep my airflow pointed directly, directly at the center of the coils. If you've built your coils correctly, they should be heating up from the center outward and they get hottest in the middle. So I like my airflow right where the coil is the hottest, right in the middle. But this just easily, easily pops off, easily, easily goes back on. Can't stress this enough. All of the fit and finish of this Passage RDA, top notch. Even out of focus, still top notch. Flathead screws, I'm just gonna pull these out. I'm gonna pull these coils out as well. And now we're gonna get a look at that deck. So these posts are fairly close together and the post holes themselves, although really tall, are a little bit on the narrow side. The clamps don't raise with the screws, like on the Ocula RDA. Now this is something that I do that you may not need to do, but I just flip the RDA over and kind of drop those clamps open. And as you can see, they are tall, but they are a little narrow. So you 
you do have to stack your leads uh, on top of each other. The best way to do that is to put your leads, I'll just show you. But first we actually need coils to install. So I'm gonna take one of these Tricore uh, Aliens from Coil Turd Sticks. There's two wires in here. So I'm gonna do two like, mm, I don't know, eight wraps maybe, maybe eight wraps, maybe nine wraps. All that matters is making a coil that fits perfectly between those posts so it perfectly spans the distance. So we ended up with an eight wrap and I was checking it there against the deck just to make sure that it's gonna span that distance pretty well. But yeah, not bad, eight wrap. Wait, what did I say, eight wrap? No, I'm sorry, that was a seven wrap. Pre-clipped my leads, stacked them on top of each other inside the posts. It's not super difficult to do. It takes, a, you know, it takes maybe a little bit of effort just to just to clip your leads and get them stacked on top of each other properly. But it's it's honestly pretty effortless. Whenever you kind of wrap your own coils and install them, it just takes a little bit longer to work out those hot spots, but I got them all worked out. These are glowing flawlessly, perfectly evenly. They came out to a 0.23. So it looks like we won't be using this on a mech mod. We're gonna keep it right here on this Aug Vape V200. Overall, pretty simple. Stacking your leads on top of each other is not a difficult task to accomplish with this RDA. I like these three and a half millimeter coils in here. I just feel better. I feel like they're taking up a lot more space, really kind of taking advantage of that uh, of that area in there. Plenty, plenty of room for your wicks. This does come with a squonk pin and you see that little golden pin down there in between the posts. Well, you're gonna replace that with a squonk pin and that's where your hot squonking action is gonna come from, but I I'm a dripper, so I'm using this as a dripper. Even though this is a two post RDA, you can still bleh your liquid into this RDA just with confidence, blah, blah, blah. So now we can put the barrel on. It's real easy, real easy to find that notch and that groove. It just kind of pops in there every single time. Then the AFC satisfyingly snaps into place. Yeah, now you can see that AFC a little bit better. You can see those passages. So if you turn this to here, you're only gonna be using two of those passages. And if you turn it to here, you're only gonna be going to use one of those passages. Me personally, full open on this RDA, full open. Anyway, yeah, it's built, wicked, saturated. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape the damn thing. Yeah, just vaping awesome. First question right out of the gate, how's it vaping? It's vaping awesome. So let's talk about maybe a little, few, maybe a few pros and cons. Lots of pros, not really very many cons. The few cons that I have with this, yeah, let's start with cons. Let's start with the bummer news first. The airflow, it's a mixed bag with me for this airflow. I enjoy it, but I wish it were smoother. It feels a little sharp to me. It gets, it gets just a little bit turbulent, and I don't know what's causing that, if it's those passages or if it's the honeycomb and the passages together, but it gets a little, hmm, I just wish it were smoother. I I couldn't imagine this airflow without that honeycomb. I feel like it would be just an insane, turbulent, turbulent ride. Thankfully, that honeycomb is in there to help smooth it out, but I just wish it were smoother, kind of overall. It's not bad. The airflow isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's fine. It's swooshy. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty even. Like I said, I, I just wish it were just a, mm, just a little bit smoother. But other than that, I can't really fault this RDA anywhere. Fit and finish, top notch. Overall vape experience, top notch. The flavor, 
really good. This has a little bit of extra room inside of it. It's a it's a fairly large chambered RDA, which is why I wanted to build those bigger like three and a half millimeter coils in there to kind of take advantage of some of that space. If you build bigger coils in here, you're going to have better flavor than if you build smaller coils. I wouldn't go under like a three millimeter. I would go between three and four millimeters for your coils in here just to take advantage of all that space. If you have the space, throw a bigger coil in there. These coil turd aliens that I installed in here are great, flavorful, poppy, crackling like I love. And I guess the other really, really, really nitpicky con that I have with this is I think the logo is dumb. And that's and that's a stupid that's a stupid stupid nitpicky thing. I just look at this and I see the P with the recycling symbol and I'm like I don't like that. I don't like that logo at all. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you're looking at the Passage RDA? Ah, no, not really. Clicking around the internet, I can kind of find it anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks, which definitely isn't like heavy, heavy vape budget hands. It's not quite cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out. Here's the thing. Is it leaps and bounds better than anything that's out on the market right now? Not really, but is it a nice RDA with good fit and finish and a nice easy build deck? Provides a real nice vape, sort of a restricted-ish lung vape. Yeah, it does all of those things. If you have no RDAs, I would honestly take a look at the passage. If you need to upgrade your RDA, I might honestly take a look at the package. Pass it. Package? No. Nope. Don't don't look at my package. Passage RDA. Now, if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they have come and taken everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Passage RDA something I'm going to seek out and buy like right away? Uh, probably not. Probably not right away. I'm going to do what I do with a lot of vape products and I'm just going to put this Passage RDA right in line with a lot of other really fantastic RDAs on the market, some of which Matt has also designed himself. At the end of the day, it's a well thought out, well machined, well put together, very, very well, well vaping, good vaping, nice vaping, really good vaping RDA. Nick, stop rambling. So anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. I apologize, links are not allowed in the description anymore, so you're gonna have to use that Google Foo, but thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, no matter what is in your hand, let's keep on vaping.